How to Take Care of a Bombay Cat Bombay cats were originally a cross between American shorthairs and Burmese cats. The goal was to get a domestic house cat that looked somewhat like a small panther. These cats are hardy, and grooming them can be easier than grooming a long-haired cat. They are relatively healthy with a few exceptions. Because they are inquisitive, energetic cats, they do need some stimulation to be happy, but luckily, it doesn't take much to engage them. Grooming a Bombay cat. Brush these cats on occasion. Bombay cats, with their sleek, soft fur, don't need much brushing. A once-a-week brushing is more than sufficient. Often, just petting is enough to remove the dead hair and help move oils around. A curry brush is good for this cat, too. Also, these cats only really need to be bathed when they get into something messy, such as if they go running through the mud outside. Wipe the cat's eyes regularly. The Bombay cat is prone to excessive tearing in the eyes, more so than other breeds. Tears can be irritating, so try to wipe down the corner of your cat's eyes at least once a day. Use a soft cloth dampened with warm water. Clean its ears. Bombays, like all cats, need their ears cleaned regularly. Clean them when you notice a buildup of wax on the inside. Ask your vet for a good cleaner, then use a cotton ball or swab moistened with that cleaner to gently bathe the inside of the cat's ears. Clip the cat's claws. You also need to trim the cat's claws fairly regularly, such as twice a month or more often as needed. You'll notice when they start getting long, they'll be extra sharp, and the cat will keep getting them stuck in things. Start by getting your cat used to having its feet handled and its claws extended. Then get it used to the noise of the clippers. You can practice on a piece of spaghetti with the cat nearby. When it comes time to trim, have the cat in your lap with its head away from you. Lift up one of its paws. Push gently on one of the cat's pads, extending the claw. Before trimming, make sure you can see the quick, the pink nerve and blood vessel inside the nail. Avoid clipping that. Remember your cat may become impatient. You may need to do its nails in more than one session. Brush your cat's teeth. Brushing your cat's teeth may sound like more than you bargained for when getting a cat. However, clean teeth are essential to a cat's good health, so it's an important step you should take regularly. Start by getting your cat used to the idea. A couple of times a day, lift up the cat's gums, and gently rub them with your finger or a piece of gauze. Once your cat seems okay with this step, you can move on to brushing. Use a toothbrush and toothpaste specifically designed for cats. Give your cat a taste of the toothpaste. Apply a small amount to the toothbrush. Using the toothbrush, apply the paste to the teeth, reaching to the teeth in the back. Rub it in gently. While you're brushing, look to see if your cat's gums seem pink and healthy. Also check for any mouth wounds or broken teeth. Cat is a type of short-haired cat developed by breeding sable Burmese and black American short-haired cats, to produce a cat of mostly Burmese type, but with a sleek, panther-like black coat. Bombay is the name given to black cats of the Asian group. The Bombay cat is also called the Black Mamba, and nicknamed the Mini Panther. The breed was developed by Nicky Horner, a breeder from Louisville, Kentucky, who, starting in 1958, attempted to create a breed of cat that resembled a miniature black panther. The first attempt was a failure but the second, in 1965, was successful. The breed was officially recognized and registered by the Cat Fanciers Association in 1970 and the International Cat Association in 1979. The Bombay is a short-haired breed of domestic cat, 
closely related to the Burmese. Bombay cats are typically characterized as having an all-black coat, black soles, black nose and mouth, with copper or green eyes. The close-lying, sleek and glossy black coat is generally colored to the roots, with little or no paling. The Bombay has a medium body build that is muscular. Their weight is usually 8 to 15 pounds, 3.6 to 6.8 kilograms, with males typically being heavier than females. A healthy Bombay can live approximately 15 to 20 years. They can have some sinus problems, stuffy noses and gingivitis. Their food intake should be controlled to avoid overfeeding. Bombay cats are highly social and brave. They are attached to their families and crave attention. For this reason, cats of this breed are highly suitable for children. Most Bombay cats are not independent, however many older Bombays are more independent when compared with younger cats. They seek attention from their owners and people around them often and dislike being left alone for extended periods of time. Although they like to be around people generally, Bombay cats also tend to have a certain person whom they pay special attention to in their lives. Overall, the Bombay breed is intelligent, playful, and attention-seeking. The Bombay's muscular medium-sized body can be deceiving, as they often weigh slightly more than they might appear to. They don't shed as much as other breeds and require very little grooming. They get along well with other cats, as they have an established peck and order in the household. They have a loud distinctive purr. Bombay cats are known to be vocal and they cry and meow more than other cats. Although considered as an omen of misfortune, in many cultures, the people of Japan and Britain, see black cats, as a sign of good luck. Scots even believe that a black cat's arrival at their house, means coming prosperity. However, unlike the Scots, the pilgrims viewed the black cat as a companion of Satan, or a familiar of witches. Back then, anyone caught with a black cat would be punished, or even killed because of his contact with, the evil creature. Still, many people over the course of history, have seen the black cat's supernatural powers positively. Sailors thought that having a black cat on the ship would bring them good luck. Even fishermen's wives, would keep a black cat at home, believing that they had an influence and would protect their husband at sea. Others, however, believe that if a black cat, walks on and off a vessel, it means the ship is doomed, and will sink on the next trip. But sailors and their wives, weren't the only one to worship black cats. Egyptians believed that hosting a black cat at home, would put them in good favor with the cat goddess, Bastet. Until next time, blessed be. Don't stop.